Hey everyone, it's Linda. I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. Today it's Monday, and um, I went out and did a little shopping with my daughter. Today was her birthday, she's 41. I don't know how she could be 41 when I'm only 40. I mean, come on. You know, since okay. our grandchildren have gotten older, we don't uh, buy them gifts anymore, we just give them money. And I think they enjoy that more than getting the gift. I think they enjoy having that money that they can go out and buy whatever it is they want, something they may, may have wanted for Christmas and they didn't get, they can just go out and pick it up themselves. But I still like to go out shopping a little bit during the season. I'm not crazy about the overcrowded stores, but I still like to, still like to go out and enjoy the hustle and bustle a little bit. And um, so I bought a few so things. This is what I picked up. I went to DSW and with a coupon, they were giving away these free Weekender bags, I think they called them. It's this nice gray, has a quilted look. And I really mean, it's really a large capacity bag. You can get a lot in there. That's nice. And there was tons of cute shoes. I wanted them all, but I wound up buying a pair of Uggs. Because I know it's coming it's cold in the winter. And I already have a, a, a camel pair of Uggs a camel colored pair, so I went with these gray ones. I had a $5 birthday coupon. I had a $20 off a $99 coupon. And I also had a $25 gift card. And um, these were, I think, $189 before all my discounts. But those are really nice, and I'll wear, I'll get a lot of use out of these. I'll wear these much more than I will, a really cute pair of ankle booties, which is what I really wanted to buy, but I didn't. And then I went to Ulta, and I think I'm probably the only person that I know that can walk out of Ulta with two things. Uh, the uh, Milani, I think it's Basic Matte palette. Yeah, Basic Mattes. It was only like $5 and something it was on sale. And the, it's CC, 50 plus. I was out of this. This is like my favorite thing to mix with a a matte foundation that might be a little too dry. I'll let a, couple, a pump of this and a pump or two of my foundation, mix these together and I just love it. That's what I've been wearing a lot, a lot lately. Is actually this mixed with this. This True Match. It's kind of a darker shade for me right now, but mixed with the CC cream, it's just perfect, and I, I love it. It gives like this really, it gives this really dewy glow, and I'm really enjoying that right now. And we are in my bedroom at the new house. <clears throat> I'll give you a little quick peek around. Right now, the walls are this grayish, bluish color, this really smoky blue, I guess we'll call it. And the carpet is red. So I'm, my plan is to paint these walls white and find a huge area rug in a cream color, beige, something like that to put in here. But I mean, it's a cute room. But uh, this, the colors leave a lot to be desired. Anyways, that's my little quick haul for the day. I also want to share a little bit of my decorating with you guys. I have my tree up and a mantle done and a few things set around in the living room. So I'll share that with you guys as well. This is the formal living room. And I have our Christmas tree in here. This is the old mantle that I had in the TV room at the other house. We just placed that on the wall. And we have this uh, antique cast iron fireplace surround just setting in the opening. I have some fake garland with some lights and all these Santas are from a company called Reagan House. But you've seen that cherub mounted on the old cutting board in my other home tour. And my end tables they're just old uh, drop leaf tables that we've taken the drop leaves off of and cut them down a little bit shorter. And this 
pillow with the leave on it. I keep this out year round. And in the summer, I just spin it around to that side. And then during the holiday season, I bring it back around to the Believe. And this is the tree. This will probably be the last year that I have this tree because when I got it out this year, the top section was all burnt out as a pre-lit tree. And I've added some strands of lights. But after this Christmas, I think I'm gonna retire it. And I know you've seen my coffee table before as well. It's just an old farm table that we've cut down to coffee table height. And I have a little collection of flicker candles that I tied some jute string around with a piece of pine and I have them elevated on a cake stand. And another drop leaf table. And I picked up this uh, reindeer at Big Lots last year. I'm not sure if they still have him or not. And this wall is in my entryway. It's my cross collection. And then I still have my dry sink with my horse and my favorite sign. Those are three of my favorite things. I just love those things. And we pan around this way. This goes into the dining room. That's the old antique step back that I've just filled with some white china doll is an antique doll. I've had her for years. And on top, we have the old antique decoy. He's another favorite of mine. On the other side of this room is this old desk that I've showed you before in a video. I might need a little more light in here. Let's take this. Yeah, there we go. Probably see better this old this desk if you haven't seen the video this just opens up and that drops down you can place a chair there but on top of this I have a cabin that my father made so that's very special to me and these bottle brush trees are also from Reagan house and there's my little deer head that I put on the old board. And this room is the dining room. Not nearly as big as our old dining room, but it works. I have this old bench back here, a couple pillows on it. That was my flea market fine makeover back here. And this is the sign off of my old shop. It's now Walmart. The dining room and living room are like an L shape, so you kind of, the dining room blends right into the formal living room. So that's my little tour. Good morning. I am up bright and early this morning. I am going to uh, paint my kitchen. I've already started a project, but I'm hoping to get most of it done today. You know, most of you know that we're renting this house, but our landlord said that we can do pretty much anything we want within reason. And the kitchen, it needs some help. Let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. So let me show you what I'm trying to accomplish. A more cohesive look. This is where I've already started painting. I'm gonna paint the walls white. They were a sort of a tannish putty color. The counters are red and the backsplash on this side of the room is red. And the soffit area, I think you call that the soffit, that is wallpaper that has roosters on it. Then this backsplash, this was a metallic spray painted silver. So I painted that white already. 
and I painted this wall over here white. The tile in here is black and white. So today I hope to finish painting the chickens. I'm gonna paint this backsplash white. And then these countertops are gonna be a future project that I'll share with you guys. But I, I'm gonna, I saw a few videos that have given me some ideas on how to paint these and make these look like granite. So maybe I'll share that in an upcoming video. But for, but for today, my goal is to say bye bye roosters and bye bye red backsplash. Check it in with you guys later. Okay, no more roosters. No more red backsplash. All painted, looking much better.